Have you ever suffered from senioritis or known someone who has? If so, in this video, I'm gonna talk about five signs of senioritis and four solutions. Before we get too far in, remember to subscribe to our channel, like this video if you like it by the end, and head to supertutortv.com slash subscribe to subscribe to our mailing list totally for free. We'll keep you in the loop of everything awesome that's going on here. If we have any discounts by any chance on either of our online courses, the best SAT prep course ever or the best ACT prep course ever. One other thing, we're doing a couple of book giveaways. So I wrote a couple books for the ACT math section. We're gonna be giving away some copies of one of those books on our different social channels on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter. We're gonna do a different giveaway on each of those channels. So follow us everywhere if you want the most number of chances to win a book, which is really cool. That will get you super prepared for your ACT. All right, senioritis, what does it look like? Well, some signs you might have senioritis. You start to go to study for your finals and you go to get out your notes and realize there aren't very many, if any of them. Number two, you've replaced reading with skimming. Whenever you have a reading assignment, instead of reading the whole book, you seem to have a habit of skipping over lots of the pages in between. Number three, your knowledge of physics is not so awesome, but your knowledge of Netflix content is exceptional. If you find that you're able to binge more Netflix and watch more television than you ever have in the history of your high school career, well, that could be a side effect of senioritis. Other signs, you might be wearing sweatpants to school. Or finally, when someone says a paper is due tomorrow, your first response is, I don't give a fig. If you find yourself completely lacking motivation and really not caring about anything that has anything to do with school, well, that's probably a sure sign of senioritis. So how do we deal with senioritis and why is it an issue and should we even worry about it? Is it something we should worry about? Well. Yes, to an extent, you should worry about it. I mean, even I had senioritis, and you know what? Everything worked out, and for most of you, a little bit of senioritis is gonna be fine. But you don't want it to go too far, and I'm gonna talk about four things that can help you feel motivated, stay in the game, and just like hold on till graduation day. Here are those four things. Number one is fear. Fear is one of the greatest, most powerful motivators that we have. It's not always my favorite motivator, but it is a decent motivator here. And the reason that I want you to be afraid if you have way too much senioritis, colleges can revoke their offer of admission to you. So even if you feel sitting pretty and you have your college admission letters and you know where you're going to school next year, know that that could completely be ripped away from you if your academic transcript differs from the rest of your performance in previous years. Now, how much can your GPA drop and how much can you get away with? Uh, you can probably get away with an extra B. So if you were getting like straight A's and then you get a B for the first time ever, that's probably okay. If you had a couple B's throughout high school and then you get one more B second semester senior year, you're probably fine. Even if you're going to like Princeton or Harvard or something like that, they're probably not gonna take you off the list. But if you're going to Princeton or Harvard or Stanford or something like that and you get a C, that could totally boot you. If you get like three B minuses, that could be trouble. Likewise, a lot of times this issue hits people kind of in the middle of the band. So if you're sort of a middle performing student and you know you got Bs, maybe a C here or a C there, absolutely, anytime you get a D or an F or you're on academic probation, I'm betting swear you have a two in front of your GPA for this semester at all, you're in big trouble. According to an article, I read about 57% of selective universities, whatever the heck that means, I think it's like top 50 schools, something like that, have rejected at least one candidate on the basis of academics post admission. So don't let that one person or five people or however many people it is be you. So just make sure you stay in the game long enough to get to the finish line and secure your dreams for your future. Number two, this one I really like, sugar. Who doesn't like sugar? It's wonderful. And I know in our last video on how to stop procrastinating, I talked a little bit about motivation, how sometimes procrastination is a matter of not having enough willpower. Well, senioritis is often a matter of not having any willpower, right? Of just not caring, of total apathy, and like feeling like, why does any of this matter? This is so high school. So if that's how you feel, and you need a little push of motivation to get you through, so you don't get that C and get kicked off of the roster of whatever school you're trying to attend. There was a study done where they gave people Coca-Cola or sugar, before doing a task and they found that people were much more able to face this unattractive task when they had sugar in them than when they didn't have sugar. And it kind of was just a lesson in the fact that we have potentially only so much willpower. And so if we let one part of our life get the best of us, we have more willpower to exercise in other parts of our lives. That's what psychologists have theorized. 
why this effect works. So sugar can be a temporary solution. And usually I'm not really a huge advocate of temporary solutions, but senioritis is a temporary problem. So there you go. Third tip, remember the finish line. I know if I think about the finish line sometimes and I focus on that, I can kind of get to the goal. So if you have some assignments to do, if you've got a study for final still, you've got like these last few things to get done, you just need to hold on senior year. Think about that finish line. You could even make a Pinterest worthy countdown calendar. You could draw on your whiteboard in your room, all the numbers, all the days, counting down until your last day of classes. Whatever it is, where is your finish line? Focus on that finish line, get excited about it, count it down. You just gotta stay in the game. Just a few more days, a few more weeks, you guys got it. My fourth solution to senioritis is to embrace the long game. So one of the reasons that we get senioritis or you get senioritis is that you have so much excitement about getting out of high school and becoming an adult and entering this whole new phase in your life, which is really exciting. And it is really exciting. And so in one sense, what I would say is appreciate this time and appreciate the fact that you are on the precipice of the rest of your life. And that's super cool and super awesome and super exciting. And I would say, just remember to be the person now who you want to be in the future, right? Do you want to be a person who like, for example, gets kicked out of college because you got a C randomly when you were getting a bunch of A's? I don't think you want to be that person, right? You probably don't want to be that person. You don't want to be the person who totally blew it at the last minute. You want to be a person who finishes strong. And just make sure whatever behaviors that you're manifesting right now in the moment from your senior edits, that they're not just myopic and because of what's right in front of you, but instead they're inspired by the idea that your life is about to get so much bigger than it's ever been before. And that's super cool and super awesome. Congratulations to you seniors. If you are a senior and you've been watching our channel, I really appreciate you subscribing. If you're not a senior yet, and you're just watching this video for fun, tell us in the comments below, give it a thumbs up and stay tuned to Super Tutor TV because we've got a lot more fun stuff for you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Ciao for now.